Hi everyone and welcome to the Cloud Resume Challenge series. Now if you did not know, the Cloud Resume Challenge was started by a guy called Forrest Brazil. He is a AWS serverless hero and the goal of this challenge is really to get your hands dirty with all of your AWS services. So in my introduction video linked over here, um, I said that we would go step by step, like each week we would tackle like uh, one step at a time um, through this challenge. So this week we're going to be doing step one which is the certification. Okay, let's take a look at our prompt for this week. So we're on step one. So it is certification. Your resume needs to have the cloud practitioner certification on it. This is an introductory certificate. Okay, let's take a look at the Okay, let's take a look at the prompt that we have for this week. So it's going to be certification. Um, your resume needs to have the cloud practitioner certification on it. If you have a more advanced um, AWS cert, that's fine, but not expected. That's great because I have the um, SysOps Administrator Associate um, certification. Uh, no cheating. Okay, you have to include the validation code on the resume. Okay and um, a cloud guru excellent resource offers um exam prep um so i have the okay let me pull this up so i have the sysops administrator associate exam um certificate and which expires in 2024 so i am i'm good to go i guess um that's it for this week's video thank you no i'm kidding um Sorry, I just I just couldn't resist. Um, okay, let's take a quick look at what this certificate really is. So he's mentioned that this is a beginner or like an introductory certificate. So I'm pretty sure they are going to do. Um, they're going to be focusing on like cloud concepts and some of like the most used um, AWS services. Let's take a look at the exam guide. Um, I want to see what domains it covers. Um, okay, multiple choice, multiple response. Mm, okay, there we go. So we have cloud concepts, security and compliance, technology, billing and pricing. Okay, so AWS cloud. So, okay, list the different architecture uh, design principles. Okay. Um, in technology, we have deploying and operating in the AWS cloud. Okay, we have the global infrastructure and the core AWS services. Okay. Yeah, so this is just like a good starting point for someone who doesn't know where to begin. I would say like this is this is a great starting point um, for sure. And they also cover some like billing uh, parts, which I know like for a new AWS user, that's always going to be tricky because you don't really know um, so how much you're going to be charged. So, for example, if you're deploying um, RDS instances left and right, which are not free tier, those costs really pile up. Um, so I'm really glad to see that they do this. Um, they covered these points over here. Okay, quickly talking about the certificate that I have. Um, so I have the associate level certificate. Um, that would be the next step after getting um, this certificate. So after getting the cloud practitioner certificate, you would look at getting in, uh, you would look at getting a, um, associate level certificate. Now there are a couple and I think the most used, I guess, or most taken certificate is the solutions architect because even AWS and a cloud guru, they both advise that if you want to get like a, like the certificate that I have, you would first go through the solutions architect because that course really like, like pounds the basic concepts of, um, AWS and its services. Okay, so that's all about certification, I think. Let's go back to the challenge part. So I went through this website like um, a couple of days back and I came across certain steps that we can get through today um, because they're more of like setting up our environment, uh, setting up AWS CLI, that kind of stuff. Um, so let's see what we can do today. Um, we can do infrastructure as code. 
So when I read that this whole thing has to be done in, uh, using infrastructure as code, I was like, oh, that's perfect. I will use Terraform. Uh, like that was my first instinct. But when I read about, but when I read this prompt that he has given, um, he specifically says to use um, SAM template. And um, yeah, so I think I'm going to be using just the SAM template. Now, what is a SAM template uh, or like a serverless application model <laughs> template. It's a document where you can um, declare your resources. So for example, your APIs, your databases. Um, yeah, and once you run, once you deploy it, all of those resources that you have listed in this document uh, will be deployed with all of the configuration that you mentioned in this document. Um, uh, if you have worked with CloudFormation, I think SAM is a like an extension of CloudFormation. I feel like like when you see both the templates side by side, there's not a big difference between the two. I think um, SAM uses CloudFormation um, engine to actually deploy things on AWS. Um, okay, so let's check over here. You have the model to get started. Use this. Um, okay, before we jump into the SAM stuff, let's verify that we have the AWS CLI installed. Um, I, I know I have the AWS CLI installed um, on my machine, but let's bring the terminal here. Let's do AWS, okay, there, and AWS version, and there we have it. So if you don't have the AWS CLI, I would highly suggest um installing it at this point okay now that we have that out of the way let's look at installing our sam cli okay the first one is create an aws account so i've done that already this is just a standard free tier account um yeah Okay, coming to the next step, configure IAM permissions and AWS credentials. Okay, I have a user that I created earlier. And this user I've given S3 full access. Um, I'm pretty sure moving forward, we will need to add more permissions to this, but just for starting purposes, let's just, let's just stick to this. Um, okay, next up we have Docker. It says it's optional, so I'm just going to skip it for this time. If we really need Docker at any point during our challenge, I will install it then. Um, okay, next up is install Homebrew, but I know, oh yeah, so here it is. So install Homebrew, you must first install Git. Now my system already has Git, but if you don't, um, this would be the time to install it. Let's check over here. Um, okay, installing on OS. So, so if you are doing this on Mac OS, instead of doing all of this, you can download the package manager, run it, um, and that's that's like an easier way to go if you don't like working in CLI or terminal. Just to verify that I do have Git, let's do this. Um, based. Okay, there. So I have Git. So let's proceed with installing Homebrew. Okay, let's just run all of these commands. Okay. Give my password. Uh, okay, press return to continue. Okay, return to continue. Let's bring this over here. Whoa, okay. Oh, okay. What is the... Uh, what is the error here? Uh, first run git blah 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 or fetch unshallow okay let's do that 
Let's copy paste. Okay, this is saying that this command will take a few minutes to run due to the large size of the repo. Um, okay, so while we wait, maybe I can show you how did I create this user and the kind of permission. And let's give it programmatic access. Permissions, uh, you can attach policies directly. So the best case would be, or best practices would be, excuse me, uh, to create a to create a group and assign that user to a group. But we're not gonna be having like a ton of people on this account. So I'm just going to do it this way. So to begin with, I'm gonna start with S3 full access. I'm pretty sure moving forward, uh, we will have to update these accesses and provide more. So for example, I read like there's a part with Dynam DynamoDB. Um, and when we get to that, I think I'll just come back and we'll update um, update the access over here. Okay, let's create user. Okay, so now this point is important to number one, not share this secret access key with anybody, uh, just the person who is going to be using this uh, user. So if you are an administrator, then you would be creating this these like technical users for your company um, and you'll be providing these kinds of like access or secrets to them but um, yeah so okay like it says here this is the last time these credentials will be available to download so once you exit this screen you're not going to be able to see your secret access key um, ever again you will see your access key id and i'll show you that but if you want to save your secret access key this would be um, the only moment you'll get. So you will hit download and boom, your secret access key and your access key ID is saved. Let's close this and let's come back here. To Okay, so we created this one right now. So there we have it, our Amazon S3 full access and let's come to security credentials. Um, okay, so we have our access key ID and it is active and we created it well, today. <laughs> okay, um, let's go back to users for a sec. Um, let's take a look here. Okay, this is still going. Let's go back to the Cloud Resume Challenge and see what else we can do. Okay, we can do this part, so source control. You don't want to be updating either your backend or your front-end website by making calls to your laptop. So instead, you create a private GitHub repo for your backend code. Okay, let's do that. New repo name, um, I don't know, Max Cloud Resume Challenge. Oh, challenge. Uh, make it private. Uh, we can do this. Let's create the repo. Okay, wonderful. Uh, let me just give a description here. Um, this repo will contain all steps completed by hack in Okay, this looks pretty good. Uh, commit to main branch. Okay, and there we have it. Okay, so now we have our private repo ready to go. Uh, let's take a look over here. Okay, this is done. This takes a long time, like almost like five minutes or so. So be patient with that. Let's continue with our SAM installation. Okay, let's check that. Based. Okay, wonderful. We have, okay. Now we just do this. Paste. Wonderful. Oh, okay. 
So installing from tab, searching for similar formulae, no similar, no available. Oh, okay. So, okay. This is saying no available formula with name Python at 3.8. Okay, let's try to run it again. Okay, so we didn't get any error message, um, none that I can see anyway. Okay, let's check the version. Do that, do paste. Okay, wonderful. So now we also have the SAM CLI installed on our local machine. And that's all for this week. So we set up an environment for us. We got the AWS CLI, we got the SAM CLI, we got our technical user, and we also made our own private repository. Next week, we'll be doing some of the front end stuff. So HTML, CSS, and also we'll be hosting our static S3 website. So subscribe to follow along. And until then, I'll see you in my next one. Bye.